Gang, 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 what is going on my guys? Listen, today made a crazy ass little Uzi kind of beat. I'm gonna be announcing the details for the OP1 giveaway on my next live, so stay tuned for that. And number two, I actually don't even have a number two, so let's just go ahead and make a beat. Nah, 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 nah. let me get a little more chest in there, there we go. A little more becho, you feel me? Let's see, let's go into my guy Humble Beats moments, presets. Let's take this down to like 130. Um, we do it like that. Mm. Mm. Oh, and by the way, I know I added this note that was not, that's not in the scale, but <laughs> no enough music theory to completely explain to you. But I know one of you know exactly why. So if y'all could let me know down in the comments and spread some knowledge for me and for everybody else watching this video, let me know because I, I need to know the rhyme and reason why that note sounds good so I can go ahead and apply that to more melodies. I'm not going to do complete chords. I'm just going to use the middle note of what would be the triad right here. I'm not going to use the top note. Middle note, raise it up an octave. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the triad for the second half. All right, that's not terrible. Let's just keep moving on. I don't want to get stuck on the same thing. I always have this thing where I feel like I have to like, I can't leave the MIDI until it sounds perfect. And it's like, bro, you're just, you're just fucking paralyzing yourself thinking about shit, bro. Just, just do it. Just do it. Just go. Shout out to Bender from Cash Global. I picked up his serum bank. So I'm actually going to leave the link down in the description. Maybe change up the, so f the top line. Let's just go with the little chords. And let's go back to this lead that we had. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe we can do a little crazier down here. Maybe go make it go faster. Fire. Let's go to the rival expansion. Let's try to add some vocals in here. Pre-delay, the attack, all of it. Turn the hold up just so I can have full control. Maybe we can put this an octave down. Octave up. Kind of like a general rule I like to apply when I'm making melodies is I try to kind of just chip away. So if I like something, I'm going to add like something little in there and I'm just going to leave it. Sometimes I feel like when I just try to add too much with one sound, I just do way too much. Mm, maybe we can do fast little... There we go. Let's go to the one shot kit that I'm, I'm working on. Let's see. Oh, that could be cool. That's so fun. Maybe we can try copying this with the lead. And let's try to reverse it. We can probably use that part. There we go. Ooh, we could use this one too. Once we add reverb on that, that's going to be so fire, bro. Nice little chorus. Reverb. Fire. All right, here's a quick problem, and I want to show you guys just what I'm thinking as I'm doing this. I like this part. Sounds good. But the problem is there's a there's a part in the lead that do, 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 do. And if I have both of them at the same time, they kind of clash. You feel me? So I want every piece of the melody to have its own space. So I'm going to move this somewhere else. Let 
Let's move it over again. Boom, 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 boom. That's perfect. We can actually move this right here. No. Layer this pluck with one more pluck. So let's go into rival expansion. Yeah, see how it automatically sounds fuller? Like, look, this is by itself. And this is with the, the pluck behind. It's funny because I didn't actually name it in this version. But in the actual version, if you guys cop, I'm not sure what name it is. But y'all gonna have to sift through to find which one it was. Sounds stronger. That's what we need. We need a bass. Let's go ahead and copy these bass notes real quick. Maybe add some Avox Warm, a little more saturation. There we go. And then we can use the attack and release to make it a little smoother. Let's go. Let's get these drums down. We can add some hi-hat rolls in here. Okay, you need to stop. Maybe a different one. Mm, let's see, we got some open hats here. Ooh, what if we reverse that? <laughs> Yo, that's stupid, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. This could be shorter. Mm -hmm. What if we change the 808? A better 808. gonna have to delete these two kicks that's pretty cool so I have the the melody for the intro the effect I was looking for we got camel space and that's what it sounds like and then we have Grosby on top of that Perfect. I'm adding this uh, sequence from Serum. It's the stock presets called Sequence Automator. It sounds like this. And that's pretty much it, man. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and hit the notification. You're bugging, bro. And that's it, man. Here's the beat.